Here's what I like to do, especially with this deep little end. When I'm retrieving it, when I cast out and I retrieve it, I vary my retrieve speed. So, like I'll slow it down while I'm reeling it. I'll slow it down, speed it up, slow it down, speed it up. Sometimes these things trigger the bites. But here's a key to remember when you're doing this and you're varying your speed of retrieve, pay attention to when the fish hits it because this is gonna clue you in on how they're gonna want it for at least for the day, you know, or till the pattern starts to change a little bit. There he is. Oh, that's another nice one. Oh, dude, did you see that? That dude is as dark as could be, man. That is the best part about throwing these crankbaits is that, especially for smallmouth, is that you're generally appealing to a bigger size class of fish. Now here, really, all I'm doing is I'm going down these brake lines and, you know, just looking for these little irregular outcroppings or these little high spots on these things and throwing this deep little end, it's getting me right in their wheelhouse. So, I mean, it's really kind of simple. These fish are all coming in here to spawn this time of year. They're setting up to spawn. They're not actually spawning now, they're staging. And they just, they just, they can't resist this red fried green tomatoes. And um, it's been really a good day, even though the weather isn't cooperating. It's been a great day. Now I gotta do some surgery here. And I gotta be honest with you, these fish absolutely crush that thing. It is the most fun ever. This is one of my favorite ways to catch big smallmouth bass. I don't care where you at, they eat this stuff this time of year. Don't be afraid to throw it. Oh, look at you, you are a nice fish, man. You are nice. <laughs> Let's put this one back. That is what it's all about. That is what it's all about, baby. 